our next objective here we're going to go over the installation and the programming of the client radios uh, for best practices I usually will program the client radios while they're down on the ground with me it just makes it easier to kind of work with them uh, so to do that you're going to remove the four screws on the lid and the cover will come right off uh, to power it up there is a power connection on the inside at the bottom here uh, we're just going to use the power cord that comes with your server radio um, that'll just plug right into that port uh, during the boot up of the client radio it's going to give you um, your radio ID which is going to you make you want to make sure to write that number down because you will need that later on um, it'll tell you which subscriber unit you're on um, when we ship uh, the client radios out uh, they will be set to a default setting of subscriber unit 1 and network 1 so if we just have just one monument one pylon or one canopy it's ready to go and ready to be installed in a situation where we have multiple sign structures um, each radio will need to be set to a unique subscriber unit number um, so we're going to go over setting those up right now uh, so to program it there is a black push button right at the top left you'll press and hold that down for five seconds and then it will enter into a configuration mode uh, currently this one is set to subscriber unit one to change it you'll just press the push button and it'll adjust it to your different subscriber units we will set this one up for subscriber unit one after 15 seconds it will go to your network number uh, it is important that uh, since we have only have one server radio uh, all your client radios will be set to network one uh, the only time that we will set the network to a different network number will be as if you have more than four client radios and an additional server radio or a store next door has the same communication set up. To adjust your client you would press and hold press the push button to adjust it to the correct network number. We will set this one to network one. After 15 seconds it will exit out of that configuration mode. Also to note uh, it comes out factory installed on your serial port uh, it will not be plugged into the ethernet port it needs to remain plugged into your serial port on that client radio Um, and it's also important to note your subscriber unit as well and write that down with your radio ID. All right, so now we're going to go over the different options for mounting your client radio. Uh, there are two options. One's an internal mounting option, uh, which will be mounted on the internal of the sign structure or for larger displays um, inside the cabinet. Uh, that'll connect with this cable with an interconnect your driver at that time we will need to use an antenna extension cable to ensure that the antenna is mounted outside the structure uh, what I'm going to show you today is an external option for installing the client radio um, I already have the interconnect cable already connected and installed and attached to my driver it will connect our radio cable to our outside interconnect that just screws right to the side of the structure 